Hello everybody, it's me Pat Barr and we're here with some SDX. Go Justin, hit the switch. Or step the it disappeared. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh god! <laughs> I was about to walk next to it. And this is a way better way of getting some freaking sands. Oh wait, I'm about to be on fire. Hold on. You better stop wearing that power armor. Alright everybody, we're playing Tech World 2 with Justin Sang 21 and Pat Barr, so yeah. Alright, for this episode we're gonna be doing some crazy shit. A little bit of explosions here and there. Um, actually, we don't have any more TNT, so we can't make any more of this SDX stuff. I mean, look at this stuff. It's so easy to make. Oh, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. All it takes is a slime ball or glue next to a TNT, which is kind of, kind of, kind of easy, if you ask me. Oh, my gosh. Don't put on your power armor in the desert. It's instant fire. Really? Yeah. I'm going to try. So, we're freaking liar. Oh, I'm, about, I'm at 42 degrees. It's not good. <laughs> I don't know if I showed you guys this, but this is where we get ours. This is where we get ours. Uh, uh, it's not working. It's not working. Where are you? I don't know, man. <laughs> you just fell. I ran the wrong way. Yeah, line. yeah, you did. <laughs> so this is where we've been getting our sand from, this little desert over here. And then we go in this direction, and we're by home. So it's relatively close. This episode, we're going to be doing a lot of cool things, like I said. We're going to start off with two enchantments, because as you can see, I don't have a shovel or a, a pick, like a work pick. And I really would want one. I kind of want to make a manual and pick, but I'm lagging like a motherfucker. God. Alright, so let's get upstairs. I think I'm going to make a manual and pick, actually. And then I'm going to make a sword because this battle wrench, I know it's, it's useful and everything, but I would prefer something better. So let's throw this stuff in there. Well, I don't need, oh, nope, that doesn't go in there. That goes in this chest. Alright, so Justin, what do you think? Should I make a diamond pick? I mean, diamond shovel? Yeah. Why a shovel? Because, man. You know what? Screw it. I'm not even going to do it. <laughs> that rhymes. I'm stuck on something. Is there something here? I don't know, guys. So we're doing a little bit of Tinker's Construct. We haven't done that in a while. Mostly been doing it off camera. Um, do we have any manual? In? Oh, yeah. We, oh, we have Erudite and Cobalt. So what does it take to make a... a pick? Oh, a, just a tool binding? Tool rod and a head? Huh. Does it matter what you make it out of? I probably... Um, I don't think so. So this manual and stuff... <clears throat> I kind of want to make like a paper to get another modifier. I think that'd be pretty cool. But this manual and stuff it has 3,000 durability for the full tool. But 1,200 nonetheless. So what do you think, Justin? When, should I make a full tool or should I get another modifier? Well, wouldn't the paper one kind of break really fast? No. Well, I, I don't know, actually. I don't know. What's the the durability on it? Screw it. I'm smelting all this stuff. What are you doing? No! <laughs> there you go. Let that... Oh, we don't have enough lava. Good. Damn it. Alright. <laughs> well, I guess we'll do that another time. <laughs> Alright, so this episode, finally getting back on topic, where the hell do I put this cactus? In there. Alright, so we're going to be doing some mistcraft again. We're going to be loading up another world. We explored this age a whole bunch, so let's put that away into my chest right here. I, I do have this fortune pick, but that's fortune. So, what we're going to need is some paper. Let's grab some from here. Make another linking panel. So we're just going to be making a, a random a random book. So we're going to need to grab some leather. Where the hell is the leather, Justin? Uh, right there. Um, we should work towards our diamond world find those things you need. Yeah, we'll do some exploring <laughs> on and off camera. So let's throw this book in there. 
And we're going to need another one of these. Can you get off? Oh, okay. did it freeze? Oh, well, oh. that was weird. I'm in the world, man. You can't get out. What do you mean? Oh, shit. <laughs> Can you help? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to make another... Palm wood? Palm trees! Wait, how do you... Can't I just right-click? I'm supposed to be able to right-click. Oh, no. I found palm trees. That's cool. Well, I think I'm lagging a little bit. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back. And we are back and just in this is the world. I think it might be eternal rain, which is unfortunate, but there's some floating things up there. Maybe we'll check that out. Another brick obelisk. But where the hell is the place? Oh god, there's water going into What the hell is that? What the hell is that? <laughs> What's cool? It's freaking baby spiders. Skeleton, come here. Okay, so let's I'm gonna go over here to the library. This is the kind of stuff I was talking about. We have snowy dead forest. That's creepy. Uh, wetland biome. I can't go over there. Yeah, it's pretty hard to get in. Why is it so hard? I don't know. Desert biome. All right. And a rainforest biome. All right. So let's break over here. This there's like a chest. How do you know what corner it is in? Oh, I just memorized it. What do you memorize it? I just broke so many. I just you know. <laughs> Alright, oh, so we got some deep lakes, taiga, quagmire, what's going on, that's so cool. What kind of biome is that? Quagmire. Jungle, and then cave world. Alright. That sounds cool. Kind of does. Well, we're going to keep on searching this place, maybe shove a few uh, libraries, and then uh, we'll jump over to the overworld and uh, do something else. So I'm just going to mark down these coordinates of this place, and uh, we're going to do a little bit of exploring. So, yeah. Oh, I found a bromeliad. Bromeliad. So me and Justin went our separate ways, and I found another library. We got some lavender field biome, wetland biome, and let's find out what's in the chest. You can also find notebook. Oh, maybe it's not in that one. So you can find notebooks in these chests, which contain a whole bunch of these pages, which is crazy. So we got stone block. Thin Domestic Something Grove, River Biome, Red Color, and Boreal Forest Biome. I didn't even grab that. Alright, continuing. Alright, found this actually broken one. It looks kind of weird, but whatever. At least it has the pages. Eternal Storm, no thanks. <laughs> Jungle Biome, and let's find out what's in the chest like always. Break open some of these bookshelves, get them out of the way. Alright, let's see what's in this chest. Thick Omeus bi Woods Biome, Shrubland Biome, Dark Moon, Dark Lighting, and Crystal Black. Ah, nothing new. Alright everybody, we are back. We created another world. Well, we're about to. We got obelisks, and I put diamond ore block in front of it. So it should be diamond um, obelisks everywhere. Hopefully this works. I'm not sure exactly if it w it will work, but I'm going in without any of my armor or anything just in case because I know this world's going to be unstable. How unstable I don't know, and we want to save this age because this is a good one to get a lot of oak wood. Trust me, I chopped down one tree, and we got like half an inventory full of oak wood. All right, Justin, I'm going. I'll be waiting with my right. fortune 3 pickaxe. Let's see if this works. Oh my gosh, the stars. Is it safe? We got a library. I think it's safe. I'm going in. <laughs> I think it's safe. I should have brought my, my silk touch. Oh, I know. You oh God. Pick it up. Oh no. Justin, kill, the kill him. Kill the enderman. How am I supposed to kill an enderman? I'll have his pickaxe. Oh God. <laughs> oh no. Oh, there he is! Damn it. I'm gonna die. He's gonna kill me, man. Shit. Just gonna put this down. Put this He's down. coming! <laughs> ah, and I'm going back. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's... I'm gonna grab my armor again. And... It's safe. I don't think the obelisk spawned, though. Unfortunately. Because it looks like it's a floating island. 
Uh, there's nothing in the library, surprisingly. Like, what do you mean? There's no... There's a creeper, that's what there is. That wasn't a creeper, that was a booby trap. This whole thing blew up. What do you mean? That was a freaking... There's no way a creeper... Spontaneous did. explosions, that's what that is. Freaking scary. Oh god, I'm about to die. Oh my god! Holy, Holy shit! I don't like this world. I'm about to die, I'm about to die, I'm about to die. I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> come on. You I got have... it. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> oh my god. Go, go, go. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was so I cool. made it. <laughs> what if the spiders started pouring through? I don't like that world, guys. I don't know about you, but that world was not friendly. I got a highland biome, autumn hills, fast weather, and eternal snow. That's not exactly yeah. the best. It's <laughs> not <that> important. <laughs> Whew, that was that was sketchy, guys. I kind of want to go back. It's just I didn't see any obelisks or yeah. anything. So go in with like absolutely nothing. You I want to create stuff. another age. Yeah, let's create another age. Screw gonna, this one. I got one heart in ice. <laughs> so let's just screw this one and break it. Break it. Break it. Punch it. Punch it. Right, I'm going to curb stomp it. <clears throat> I think it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so hopefully this gives us another leather. It did. Oh, Justin, we need one more leather. You want to go kill the cows? <laughs> I just killed the cows. You go kill a cow. Give me a second. I'm gonna be making more linking books and everything. So we're, what we're trying to do is get ourselves a the hell? How is this? Did you make two of them? I don't know. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said you couldn't. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> So, link panel. Where should I put this hardened glass? Or hardened ice, my bad. So, copy this. Now I got a diamond ore block. Put this one back. Alright, let's try to get the diamond ore obelisks. Would hardened ice melt, do you know? I don't, I don't think so. I, I wouldn't think it would melt. If it's like... Yeah, I guess we'll find out. Diamond door water. obelisks. Alright. Um, oh yeah, you need leather. I'll be back. I guess we can make a biome. I mean, do we have single biome? I have no idea. Surface lake, single biome. That would be the S's. Skylands, surface lake. No, it doesn't look like it. Do we have any... I got your leather... Alright, give me a and three cooked things because my sword has fire aspect. Freaking, you're like a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> On the road, you need some meat. I got you. Alright, give me your leather. Oh, well, I'm not really facing you, but it's right there. Right? Oh, I only needed one, but that's fine. Don't complain. Alright, <laughs> hopefully this works. You go first, like, because I have all my stuff on me, you go. So do I. <laughs> Let's hope for the best. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh. What the hell is that? Oh. Let's put the linking book. What is this? I found long grass. A giant flower? That's awesome. I'm taking it. Let's try to find an obelisk around here. Ooh, kill these cows. We need their... Their excrement, excrements. Oh shit. It's a trap! <laughs> <laughs> let's go check out this library and then let's run around and see if we can find some diamond obelisks. I'm collecting a giant flower at the moment. You're gonna have to wait. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe we can find tendrils because then for sure we can have all the diamonds in the world. Because I know that works. I've tested it in creative. But I haven't tested this in creative. Fog color, gravel, mountains, and more gravel. Alright, not exactly what we were looking, looking for. But I'm just going to run around here. Oh, don't want to jump into the sewage. Dude, there's all these big flowers. I don't want to take them all. It's they look there's cool. freaking chickens that are... It's a... Uh, is that a 
Rooster? Ro Ro Rose. Rooster? Huh. <laughs> oh, is that a sunflower? I found them! I found a sunflower! Finally! <laughs> um, gold ore. I like how you like all the ores and animals and I'm looking at the flowers. Oh, we got another thingamabob. A what? Nether fortress. Here? <laughs> yeah, man. You can have them here. On my way. I want to see if there's a uh, spawner. There is. There's multiple spawners, actually. I have my silk pick touch. Silk, silk pick. No, that doesn't work, Justin. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> we would have to make a uh, spawn this thing. Porta spawner. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. About that. <laughs> or we could make portal guns. Oh god, it actually spawns them. Huh. You said you needed your blaze rods, right? Yeah. yeah. Wanna kill that thing? Portal. Well, I'm looking for obelisks and it doesn't look like there is any around here. Have you seen any yet? Come here. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill it. Well, maybe if you stay still. I got a blaze rod. Yes. yes! We can start making our blazing whatever. Per whatever. Well, if you see him spawn. Well, I guess we'll search around. Maybe if we find an obelisk, we'll show it. If not, we'll hopefully find some tendrils inside a chest, and uh, that'll be great. So, we'll see you guys in a little bit. So, it turns out they do spawn. Justin already started breaking it. He has Fortune 3, so. Hey, how many pack. diamonds do we have? I'll just say guess. T just take a guess. Just I'm gonna guess three piles. Two and a half. <laughs> Two and a half stacks per obelisk, and this world seems pretty stable, which is kind of crazy if you ask me. I'm gonna run over here and see if we can find another one real quick to just show you a full one. If not, well then, uh, ooh, ooh. If we find tendrils in here, I swear. Wait, is this the? Uh, wait, no, this is another one. Oh no, it's not. You lied to me. It's Ooh. in this direction, not that direction. What is? It's You went this way. I know which way I went. <laughs> you went in the complete opposite direction. Anyway, guys. So, we're going to get back to you after finding a few more diamonds. And then we're going to do some technology because, you know, this is tech world, of course. Alright, everybody. We are back again. We have tons of diamonds now. So, let's actually... Let's make my... Let's make some... Let's make some things, shall we? I mean, look at this pathetic armor I have on. We can enchant armor, but I'm thinking I'm going to make a sword first. I don't have any sticks. Damn it. kind of need those. Well, yeah, if I want to make some. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to make a sword. I'm going to go enchant it. Are you going to enchant something? How many levels do you have, by the way? Oh, yeah. I forgot to put them in the thing. I have 37. <laughs> exactly. I found, like, three diamond obelisks. Oh, I, don't, oh, I thought I fell off the tree. Alright, so the thing we're going to be doing for the remainder of the episode is some rotary craft. So, if you guys wanted us to do that, we're going to be doing it right now. On level 30, break that torch, throw this in there, and hell yeah, exactly what I had before. That's how we do it around here, guys. Got my looting back and my sharpness 4. That's huh? weird. The tank is almost full. <laughs> It's at thir around 14,000 out of 16,000. We're going to have to upgrade that pretty soon. <laughs> or start using the other levels. I was say, just enchant everything. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's look at the rotary craft stuff. Hold on. Whoops. Whoops. Rotary. Rotary craft. So, what we're going to need to get this steel boots and stuff, or steel, I mean, is this blast furnace. Which is made out of a redstone and some stone, which is pretty simple if you ask me. That's really, really simple. So, where's our stone? There it is. Grab that. Um, should we build another island? Do we this? need one? I mean, we could just expand the one we have. Or, well, I mean, we have a lot of room still on it. How does this thing work? Pretty simple. Temperature, 40 degrees, operation time, 17 seconds. Ooh. You need coal and... Alright, how do I use this device? You need info. Coal. The blast furnace... Alright, hold on. <laughs> the blast furnace is the main way to make steel. 
simply supply carbon in the form of coal. Oh, okay. Like so. I was saying. <laughs> to the left and gunpowder. Aww. As I was gonna tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't have a pick. Damn it. I got Can it. you break this? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess we should start a little island or continue on this side. Because eventually this is all going to be filled up with thermal expansion. And also, I changed the layout so this back... Oh, actually I turned it off. But you can change the con configuration. I didn't even know that. And all these are filled up with some juicy juice. Alright. So Justin, should we make another island or should we... I think we should build... Like, not build. Like, put the rest of the machines on that island. Like, maybe fit two different types of mods on there and then if we need another one we can make another island or expand that one sure, yeah whichever one works yeah it sounds like a plan so what else is there to say steel requirements coal okay gunpowder okay and iron in the middle slots bonuses the hell is this okay 50 xp per steel ingot or uh, 0.60 I said 50 because it was 50 right there Alright, so let's actually try making this. Um, do we have any gunpowder at all? We might have one. <laughs> oh, if gosh. we're lucky. Gunpowder. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, man. That's disappointing. Well, I guess we're not going to be making anything from that mod. <laughs> it looks like. But we know what we could start is some nuclear stuff because... I've been wanting to get into that nuclear. I mean, look at all that. We got the advanced information panels and all this jazz. I don't even know what that's for. But we'll get into it. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll know what we're doing by next episode. Alright, so you want to make the... I'll make... I'll make the generator. <laughs> you can make the rest. Alright, I guess I'll make the <laughs> nuclear chambers and whatnot. So I need some tin. Right? Is that what that said? I think it was, I don't know. Uh, let's see what this is made out of. Oh, it's lead. Lead, and then I need, so I need 27 iron and lead. Ah. Okay. Let's shove this in here. 27 of those. There we go. And now some lead. How many of these did I need? Um, four, I think. Four times three, twelve. Twelve of these. There we go. We got the lead plates and the iron plates. So now we can make the machine blocks. And nuclear chambers or whatever they're called. Oh, I have. Did I miscalculate? I think I miscalculated. Oh, well. So, there we go. We have that. And now we can make... What the hell is that? What the hell is that? <laughs> Radioisotope thermo thermoelectric generator. Uh, I think I'm just going to stick with the nuclear reactor. Sounds um, a little more straightforward if you ask me. Okay, so we need some electric circuits. Do we have any copper cable by any chance? Probably not. Oh man, that's so disappointing. Do we have any copper? Oh yeah, we do. I would hope so. How many copper do we get from one? Three? Alright, so I need that much. We grab some of this rubber. Run over here. Set this to extruding. Get some of uh, this copper cable. There we are. Make this into the coated stuff. Justin just gave me the generator. Nice. So, oh, I also need, oh wait, I already have iron plates. I was going to say we need iron plates to make the, the circuit, but I already have some, so. Always prepared. I made those extras for a reason. Maybe I made too many extras, but still. We're going to have to, like, have an automated system for these damn, oh, I made way too many. <laughs> We're going to leave those in there. We'll leave these in here, too, for future purposes. Okay, so, I'm going to make this into advanced. We need two of these, 
four of these, that's five, and then two of these. Make this into nuclear. There we go. And there we go. Boom, we have our nuclear reactor. Let's place this baby down. Oh, it's going to take up so much power. This thing is complicated, but don't worry. We'll know what to do by next episode, hopefully. Because this is the end of the episode, guys. So, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, and we'll see you guys all next time. Say bye, Justin. See you later. Peace.